All right, guys, back at you for another video. Today I want to shoot a video. It's a cold, wintry day outside, um, and you know it was kind of sprinkling snow this morning. I thought, man, it would be good to. I don't know, just this cold day, and so I thought, hmm, how about hot dogs? But not just any hot dogs, something special. So um, we went to the store and we got some boar heads. Everybody loves boar heads. So we got this uh, boar heads uncured beef frankfurters right here. You can see. And uh, these have, I'll quote unquote, no artificial colors, gluten-free, good source of protein, milk-free, sugar-free, and uh, very low in sodium. So when I say very low, it's not a thousand milligrams. Like most hot dogs are between 800 to 1,000. These are only like 340, 330 milligrams of uh, sodium. Not bad. So we're going to make these boogers, and um, we're going to add some toppings. Everybody has their idea of the perfect toppings. Um, I didn't want to complicate this because you can really go overboard. So I wanted chili, so you gotta have chili dogs with that frankfurter. So you got hormel chili with no beans. Awesome. And we got white onions with relish. Now the pickles are from Glossen. This is what we did. We cut up Glossen pickles. Right here you can see. Cut, these are very good pickles, guys. Very, very good. Hard to beat that because they are so good. But so now we get, oh, we also got some little bit of red onion too. I'm not a big fan of red onions, but the ladies here do like red onions. So we get some red onions. And um, of course the relish and the onions. I like the white onions as long as they're sliced and diced right. I don't want a big old steak looking onion. I don't like that, I like small sliced onions. Hey mom, this is my mom, my mother. And she's gonna be in this part of this video. This is um, Bertoli olive oil, extra extra virgin oil, extra light tasting virgin oil that we're using in the frying pan. You can boil these dogs or you can fry them. I'm frying them because I don't wanna cook out the flavor in the water and it makes them all soggy. Don't want that. I want a crisp dog. So I don't have buns. I didn't get buns, so that's okay. I got bread here. We're just gonna use bread. As a kid, you remember when your mom would tell you, my mom didn't do that. My mom actually had uh, buns. But some people's moms had bread and they paint burgers out of bread. It's not the best, but it works. And that's what we're using for dogs today because I don't have no buns and that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get the pan going on here, get it heated up and get some dogs screaming and barking at us and see what happens. So let's cut this booger up. I'm going to uh, get her lit up and get some uh, dogs ready to slow on the frying pan here. And get you, a, get you a Ziploc bag when you're done. Cutting this open so you can just throw them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the refrigerator when you're done. So no drama. So let's get this going. And, uh, and I'm gonna be a little stubborn, it's all right. As you can see, my mom's real big on candy. She got some canned okra. She won first place at the fair with this stuff. Man, she's so good with this stuff. And we're trying to, uh, be as good as her learning how she does it so we can we can carry it on and do it ourselves all right boom mm. you smell that oh, really rich i'm gonna have two she's probably gonna have one so we'll make her one my mother didn't mom are you sure you don't want one no the trout's fine for me okay we're gonna also do some trout mama wants some trout so we get some some uh, steelhead trout that we're gonna make. But right now we got the dogs going on here. We're gonna throw them in a Ziploc bag for the remaining of the dogs and get some, get some chili going here. I mean, you can add all kinds of toppings to dogs, you really can. You can throw in mushrooms, black olives, jalapenos. Um, you know, you can throw sauerkraut, you, anything you want. Onions. Yeah, onions, like we've got, we got two different cuts of onions over here. We get red and white Vidalia. And of course the relish. And we got plenty of sauce to go on top of the two. We got ketchup, mustard, of course, French is mustard, and a little bit of A1 sauce if you like. Um, we got apples in here, but we're not gonna throw apples on here. So let's get this going on here. And as you can see in the video, um, I'm sure she's gonna walk around with the camera and, and give you a little tour of the kitchen. This is a huge, huge kitchen. And uh, we are going to finish off this recipe while Lily takes a little tour, walks around. Uh, so these dogs are cooking right now. They're frying. 
we get the right amount of oil in here. You don't want too much oil because it's going to splatter back in your face. You do not want that. Um, and you'll get it all over the counter. You want to be moderate with that oil, like I was. And uh, put it about medium, depending on how fast you want it done. I've got it on medium. I may go medium high on that. Turn the chili on about medium as well. The chili's going to splutter back. you got to watch that. But that's where that's at. All right, so the dogs are almost done. The chili will be just about right. We're going to melt the cheese on top of the uh, chili, and then we're going to throw in the toppings. Uh, let's go ahead and get some bread out here because these dogs will be done fast. This chili is almost done. How long does it take? I'd say probably three and a half to four and a half minutes, depending on how high you cook it. This still cooks fast, so this will have it done in probably about four minutes. Um, I'm I'm not looking for a blacken or a brown. If you want to, you can go for seven to ten minutes if you want to. And uh, if people at your uh, little gathering want to go that long, that's fine. There's no wrong doing it here. You can see right there, they're bubbling. Not bad. So let's get the bread up here in the plates. Be mindful that chili, don't let it start splattering and catch it before it start, starts doing that. So that way you won't have a mess to clean up because you don't want that. All right, put that there. I'm gonna have two, she's gonna have one. Skins is bubbling up. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Let's see if that's. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Hot dogs are done. This is going to be done any way you want it. So uh, let's see what happens here. Let's go ahead and prep this and we'll do a, a little small clip of us tasting it. All right, doggies. I got these a little crispy this time. Cause this skin is really tough and that's the way I like it. It will just explode the flavors. And on buns, it actually is lesser room to put toppings because the bun is such a small area and that's a large area. So uh, that's that. Now we'll put a little bit of chili. Now this is no beans chili guys. So there's no beans in this. Now, you can put beans, but I didn't want to take away from the uh, actual dog itself. So now, put a little bit of relish. Oh yeah. A little bit of crunch. A little bit of engines. I mean onions. Not too much. Just add a little bit of color. Give a little bit of extra crunch. Beautiful. And of course, she's gonna use red onion, which is great. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, ketchup. Well, let's make sure the lid's off. It is. Just a little bit of ketchup. Mustard, Mr. Frenchie's mustard. Now, if this don't make you hungry, guys, you're not watching the right channel. Because that's making me hungry, and I'm going to tear it up. So let's see what we got here. Pull over here, as you guys can see. Beautiful! 
Again, Boar's Head. Frank Furters. Let's see what we got. All right. Here we go. Don't even taste like a hot dog. It's like a cube steak or something. Very good. Very, very good. Mmm. Mmm. And messy. Which it wouldn't be a hot dog if it wasn't messy. So, I'd give this one to ten. I'll give it seven. That's a little hot. But the skin's a little tough. That's the only reason. And when you try it, guys, great flavor, but the skin's a little tough. <clears throat> Make sure you like and subscribe to us, guys, and ring the bell for the next notification for the next video. If you got a comment, please make it. If you got an idea about something you want us to try, any kind of menu, any kind of recipe, anything, just make a comment, and we'll do what we can. No promises, but we'll try. Anyway, see you next time, guys.